Hello everyone and welcome to Waiting for the MDS, the show that will help us all wait for the 35th Marathon des Sables with beautiful images. You can find the broadcast schedule on the web TV page of the MDS website. As you know, the 35th MDS, initially planned from 3 to 13 April, has been postponed to 1828 September due to a nasty coronavirus. For this first show, I suggest we start by reviewing the postponement with Patrick Bowen. Hi everybody, let's go! I'm going to answer a few questions. I already gave 27 replies on social media to answer all your concerns in both French and English. With my team, I try to be precise and clear when answering your questions. But I'm still getting some about the postponement. Well, there's a coronavirus, of course. But I took this decision on 5 March, the day of the Paris press conference. But I didn't talk about it that night because I wanted to meet with my teams in Troyes the next day to set up a crisis unit and explain it on social media, as we did on 7 March. It's not an easy decision, but I thank my inner voice for guiding me there. Otherwise, my truck would be stuck. Besides, giving you a 24 hours notice of a postponement would have been disrespectful. It was better to anticipate and give you the new date from 18 to 28 September with one month's notice, as we were able to do. We did so with a heavy heart. But today, we all agree that these decisions were the wisest and most positive ones. We are all confined. For my part, I'm in Troyes with my mum, who has not been well lately. So I'm happy to be with her. It's heartbreaking not to see my little family abroad. But we try to be where we belong and give as much love as we can to those who need it the most. We can call or FaceTime each other. That's what I try to do with my loved ones. I hope that you're doing well. Also, very important is to be together in September, happy in our sports shoes. To make it a real party, not a cheap MDS with everyone being suspicious and paranoid. That was the most important point in the decision-making process. I often think of you who did a lot of preparation. I tried to answer all your questions. Many will come in September, while others plan to come in 2021 because September is not convenient for them. We will find solutions, even in 2022 or 2023. I hope that our answers are clear, but I say it again. It's important that you inform us. The choice of the postponed dates was not that complicated, since the touristic and meteorological season in Morocco gets the most interesting in September and October. We had chosen from late September, early October to mid-October, but these are the dates of the Trophée des Gazelles. As we have a lot of providers in common, we could not combine the two events, even if our respective courses would not have conflicted. However, we did not have much choice. With end of October comes bad weather and the risk of flooding the bivouac. It happened once and I really don't want it to happen again. And in September we had no choice. I know there will be other events at the same time, but it's a fact and a fatality. Exceptional situations call for exceptional decisions. The weather is normally a little warmer than in April, however, when we look at the statistics and the reality on the ground, we often have 10 degrees more in April than the official average temperatures. I wish you all the best. May we all be happy in the future. I sincerely look forward to seeing you in September. We'll be even happier. I hope everything works out well until then. Stay confined and take care of yourselves, your health and your loved ones. See you soon. And bye-bye. Many thanks, Patrick, for your clarification. What about you, would-be participants of the 35th MDS? How are you coping with this postponement? Let's listen to some of your answers. Hello. So the MDS has been postponed to September. 
We were preparing with my sister Victoria, since we had planned to do this first experience together. I've never run the Marathon des Sables before. I know it very well, and I was super motivated. I just think we now have six more months to get ready for it. Our heads were quite ready, but not our equipment. And we will come back. We weren't sure about my sister because of her job, but we're both coming back, so we can't wait. We're going to train in the middle of the summer, in the heat, which is nice and a good preparation. We listen to everyone's advice and keep our spirits up. Now we're still training, but at home, confined. We do core muscle strengthening for our back and shoulders, and we work a bit on everything to come back more ready than ever. See you in September on the start line. The postponement of the MDS was a bit disappointing. Even if we knew it would be complicated to maintain this edition in April given the circumstances, it was difficult for the organization team. But it was the right decision. We were in an intensive training phase, so it's a bit of a rough cut, but it doesn't really matter. We're going to use this extra time to focus on body weight and core muscle strengthening. We tend to skip such exercises during the rest of the year. So we're going to take this as an opportunity to do a complete cycle of physical preparation. Our bodies will rest a bit, and in a month's time we will go out for new outdoor sessions. Good things also come from this postponement. We'll be able to train in conditions a little closer to those of Morocco in terms of heat, because we'll be training in the summer. For me, it will be sessions on the beach with my backpack, and then in the heat. It might save me these one or two days of acclimatization that I struggle with at the beginning of the race. So that's good. People who had some injuries will also be able to recover. And for the many teams at the Marathon des Sables that collect donations for charities, it will be an opportunity to carry out other actions in the next five months and continue to raise money to help those in need. My experience with the postponed race, Marathon des Sables, was uh, I did strength and canary and 8 March and then um, was very focused on this race and I didn't, didn't think a lot about MDS but uh, when we saw how the, the virus COVID-18 came to Europe more and more so we had to think about um, yeah it will be possible to to go there or not um, yeah, just one, two days after the race, uh, we get the information, it's postponed for September. For me, uh, yeah, I, I, I found uh, we are lucky, so uh, it's not cancelled. I'm really looking forward uh, to September and hopefully we, we can start the race. As you heard, things aren't easy, but most of you take it with philosophy and good mood, which is heartwarming. Lilouane Labatu is another happy person. She's French, but lives in Switzerland. She participated in 2018 and 2019. Coming back in 2020 was obvious for her. Lilouane is a real Marathon des Sables lover. A very good friend who had been volunteering for about 10 years told me about the MDS three or four years ago. The idea gradually caught on. As I was lengthening my trail runs, I thought, why not? The MDS has become more than just a sports event. In fact, it's one big family. It seems a commonplace because we'll say that. But you have to live it to understand. Between all the tent mates I shared that experience with, all my teammates, although we don't start as a team but we become one, we now have fraternal bonds. We only spend a week together in the depths of the desert, but we can say that we are brothers and sisters of the desert. It's a human and sporting adventure. It's commonplace to say, but it's a way of living every day, all year round. Our families and friends hear it all the time. They might be annoyed because it's the reason why we get up every morning. And with what's going on right now, the fact that it's been postponed, we've all been affected. Even if we've now bounced back and, inshallah, we'll be there in September. It gives me the motivation every day to get in shape, go to work, earn money to pay for it. Because it's a financial sacrifice for many of us, let's be honest. 
it's a sacrifice since you don't get to spend a lot of holiday with your family because you have to take days off for the Marathon de Sable. But in the end, our families understand. So the MDS is a family. It can't be summed up any other way. It's one big family. We can swipe the difficulties of events because the difficulty lays there. Last year, I was crying in the arms of Natalie, a long-time volunteer at the MDS, telling her, why? Never again. But when I returned to Paris the next day, I was in Switzerland. And the day after, I was re-registering for 2020. It's not going to the dentists. You forget the bad moments and remember just the bonfires, the bivouac, the arrival. We finish the marathon stage. We don't have our family waiting for us when we get the medal. But in the end, we don't miss it that much because we have our family from the tent. It goes like this. We get to the tent with our medal and we're together. We miss our families, but not that much because we've made other bonds. Indeed, the MDS is hard physically, but it's so humanly rich. We come out stronger with a different vision of life and ourselves. These are strong words, but it's so true. Just like Liluan, many of you have fallen in love with the MDS. And no wonder. Superb landscapes, sporting and human adventure, true introspection. The Marathon des Sables is a unique adventure. Let's take a look back at the 35 years that have forged the legend.
Well, that's it for the first waiting for the MDS, but we'll be back soon. Don't forget to check out our website for the broadcast schedule, which includes the screening of the 34th Marathon de Sable movie. See you soon, dear sad lovers.